Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can get a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So let's see what is going on with Sagittarius mid-May. So overall energies. Oh, okay, we have balancing the scales and we have twin flame. All right, so this is going to be for those of you who do feel like this is um, a divine soulmate connection. Okay, it could be a twin soul connection, doesn't have to be. It can just be, you just feel that this is something different than most of your relationships that there is just a much higher purpose to this particular connection, okay? So um, if this, if you're finding yourself in this type of a situation, what I'm getting here is that there is karma that is being resolved. There is a balancing out of, of energies within this connection, all right? So usually with these types of connections, there are a lot of obstacles or it could be just be one really big obstacle that does need to be balanced out. So <clears throat> what I do see is that this is happening here during this time period. Right, so let's see. It does remind me of the Justice card from Tarot as well, which can talk about also making decisions, resolving um, karma. Let's see, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for mid-May. Okay, so for you, we have the Two of Cups, the Emperor, and the Nine of Wands. All right, wow, so you're you're really feeling this love. I feel like you feel a very deep connection with this person, which doesn't surprise me at all. And basically at the moment, you are really feeling this love very, very intensely for this for this person. But at the same time, you're also still feeling like, like it has been such a challenge. I feel like you feel like this has been a long journey and that you feel like you're just getting, um, it might feel like you're getting it to, towards the end or just to the end of your um, either your patience or just how much you think you can endure this situation. Let's see for them. We have the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, and Strength. All right. So this person is definitely um, feeling this, this connection with you feels like this is a very spiritual bond. All right. So whether or not they express that, the feeling of that is there. Um, I even get that, you know, they feel this strong sense of commitment to you. Even if, even if you are not in a committed relationship, they feel like there's this sense of commitment to you that is very, very powerful, but I feel like this person um, comes off as being maybe a little bit in and out, um, maybe just not so consistent, not very, not very stable in some way. Let's see what is coming up. We have the Hermit, the Tower, and Justice. Okay, wow, I love that Justice is the last card out here, because, let me just move on so you can see, because that, like I said, that's um, what this balancing the scales card reminds me of. It reminds me of justice. So I feel like we're just getting confirmation of that. And then an extra message for you here is the Ace of Wands, which does talk about um, a reigniting of something. All right, like a new beginning, but very likely from something um, or in a connection that was already there at some point or was there in some way or another. All right, so for the near future though, 
what I feel is happening here is a little bit of solitude, all right, with the hermit. There's a little bit of a withdrawal either from you or from your person, maybe from both ends. But what this is leading to is this tower, okay, because there's going to be a lot of going within and really digging deep to resolve issues within one's own self, which is actually going to actually be um, a little bit difficult, all right, with this tower being here. I feel like it's going to bring about a huge transformation, a huge change, and it might feel a little bit scary, all right, either, again, either for you or for your person. But following that, we have justice, which is, that's when the balance is coming in. That is when karma is just resolving itself at a more substantial level, all right? Because there's always going to be karma in relationships. So it's always there, but I feel like whatever it is that is serving as an obstacle, all right, that is what is being <clears throat> resolved. And sometimes that can only happen when there is this tower, when things do come crashing down, when our worlds are turned upside down, and I do feel like that is coming up here. So let's actually clarify. So this is major stuff. I mean, if you can see this, it's like the last five cards in this reading, other than the message, are all major, major arcana. And then we have another one here, which is six. So that's six out of 10. It's a pretty um, high ratio, considering that there's substantially less major arcana in the deck than there are minors. So this is some major stuff happening this month for Sagittarius. All right, so let's start by, let me clarify that the Emperor for your energy. All right. So the Knight of Wands, Judgment, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah, so I feel like I, this is actually your person. This is um, representing how you feel about your person. You do, like I said, you do have a lot of love for them. Um, I feel like you're feeling that love at the moment, even if you are pulling away, even, you know, it doesn't matter. You are opening yourself up to this love and allowing yourself to feel these emotions. However, at the same time, you do also recognize that this person is not, is not very stable and that there is possibly a major crisis that they are already going through. And I feel like this actually, um, I feel like it's bringing about a sense of anxiety just a little bit. It's not like anything crazy, but I feel like there's just this, um, a little bit of an anxiety on your end feeling like, you know, like you, <laughs> like you would want this to just kind of hurry up and happen already. Um, so it could be a little bit of impatience there for a, for either a truth to be revealed, for there to be a revelation, for there to be a new beginning. Um, it's almost like you're, you're just kind of tired of this person being in and out, back and forth, um, mixed signals possibly in the past, or just, you know, having started something only to go back. So let me see that nine of wands. sun and the six of swords so yeah it's like you're ready to leave the past behind like you just want this new beginning is, is just what I'm getting here um, you really just want to move away from everything that has happened in the past from everything that has been conflicting in this relationship like I, I just can't help but get that get that feeling like you just want this to be done with you just want to finally have this sunshine, this happiness, this fulfillment, truth in your life. Um, and I do feel like, you know, for the most part, it is heading in that direction by the looks of it. And what I'm also getting here is that, yeah, you know what? It's been difficult. You do, you might feel like you're just at the end of it. But the message I'm getting here is that, you know, take it could be helpful for you to also take a look at, you know, what is it that you can release? What is it that you can leave behind? Not necessarily when it comes to material things, but more of 
things that are going on within you. Like it could even be, you know, impatience, for example. It's like you, once you find your own fulfillment, your own happiness here from within, find that sense of peace. That is what is going to help even the connection. So let's see what's going on with your person here. Let's, let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Justice showing up again. That is the third time <laughs> that we're getting this type of energy here. All right, and the Two of Cups, which is also in your in your energy here. Okay, so yeah, see, this person definitely feels the same way about you that you feel about them. All right, you both have that Two of Cups, and it's even in the same position. All right, even if it is just a clarifier here. And we do have justice. So this person, yeah, you know, they they might be a little bit inconsistent at the moment. There might be a. I feel like it's just very very fiery, like. Yeah, I want this, but you know, there's some obstacle um, that we're not being shown what it is in this reading. Um, but whatever that is, it's, I feel like it's being balanced out, whatever that obstacle is. And it could even be another connection, all right, for some of them. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I feel like they're, this person is possibly in, um, in, in this decision-making mode, which is also creating this inconsistent energy at the moment, at least. Although I do feel like they've been inconsistent in the past as well. Um, but I feel like right now, whatever it is that's happening, they're moving along the right, the right path because it's coming from a place of love. Let's see the higher thing. <clears throat> Right, we have the six of wands and the four of pentacles yeah so the so this person definitely wants to make things work here they definitely want to have victory and success within this connection with you um they are holding back a little bit i do get a little bit of stubbornness when it comes to something so it could be that there's something else in their lives that is that they're being a little bit stubborn about um but definitely holding on to something possibly afraid of releasing but at the same time they really um, want this connection here. They feel this deep sense of of a bond with you. It almost feels like, you know, this person is also learning a lot of lessons here in this connection. Having both Justice and the Hierophant here. And I feel like these lessons have not, have not been easy. It's, it, they require a lot of courage and a lot of strength to actually complete and to actually come to this higher learning and this higher understanding of whatever it is that they needed to learn. And I feel like it does have to do with themselves and about finding some kind of a balance and um, resolutions within, within their own self. I do see them getting there. I just feel that it's a little bit of stubbornness that might be, that might be um, holding them back a little bit, but then again, that's also part of the lesson here, you know, releasing that, releasing whatever is ego, okay? Because it does come through um, as having a little bit of ego, whether that is directed at you or whether that is um, based on how others will see them or, you know, how they think others will see them or how they think they're gonna feel about themselves. That's all, that's all ego. And actually all three of these cards, um, could represent ego to me at least all right so let's see what what is coming up here I actually want to clarify this tower all right we have the four of cups and the ace of swords yeah so by spending some time alone, okay, because I do f see this mostly as being your person, although it could be you. Um, by spending some time alone or withdrawn and going within, this tower that is going to come up, it's going to be a major realization of the situation that they are um, living and how unhappy they really are. And especially if they are settling in a situation that is 
less than satisfactory, less than fulfilling. It's, it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be harsh, actually. It's going to be a pretty harsh um, lesson or it's going to feel like a slap in the face once they see the truth of really how miserable I am and what does that really mean for my life. And this is why we then have justice, which is coming in, trying to make a decision based off of that. It's like this, um, this tower and justice, it's like divine intervention, almost like something major really happening, getting slapped in the face where you realize that I got to do something about this. It's like, I, it's time to face reality. Let's see justice. Oh, okay. The Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and then also the Eight of Wands. All right, yeah, so this is definitely, definitely this person getting on the right path here. So I do feel like this person is going to move um, pretty cautiously. Um, but what they're moving towards is, again, with that Six of Pentacles, that also does talk about balance. So it's just reinforcing um, what I've been saying about justice. Um, understanding where is it that I need to give effort? Where is it that I need to focus my energy too in order to bring about this balance and I feel like this is something that they are going to I don't feel like it's going to be impulsive I feel like this is a decision that they are going to think about like really really well um, almost like you know coming up with a strategy or just really trying to think it through and take cautious steps in that direction but <laughs> you know in case that sounds like well then maybe they, they're not well what I'm seeing here Okay, so for whoever this is resonating for, there is action, there is movement, all right? It's just that it's going to be taken um, very, very cautiously, all right? And with the extra message here, what I'm getting is that there is definitely a potential for there to be a new beginning here between you and this person, okay? It might take a little bit of time, but it is moving in that direction, and I think, I feel like things are going to kind of blow up in a big way coming up. So, Sagittarius, we're going to get one more um, message for you here from an oracle deck. <clears throat> and if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see, final message for Sagittarius. We got two here. We have... Anger, safely express your anger, use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. Okay, yeah, so if you're feeling any anger, I mostly feel like this is for your person, okay, to understand that they might be feeling some anger because this is reminding me of the um, the Knight of Wands here. And, but it even could be you feeling some kind of anger which could even be a little bit um, suppressed, okay, because of the way that things have turned out or because, you know, it's just a natural emotion to feel, all right, in situations like this. Allow yourself to express it in a safe way, all right? And we also have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. So, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.